Yo, these guys' forms are just something else. They lift so beautifully and elegantly, like a beautiful butterfly in the rose garden, I swear. It's pretty amazing how much like lifting comparisons there are between males and females. Like they pretty much train exactly the same. It's just that females are not as strong and not and they don't have as much endurance. But they actually recover better, which is really interesting. But obviously they can't lift as much weight. It's pretty interesting to see the differences between male and women, uh, male and female. But the way that human beings train is exactly the same pretty much consistently across the board. There really is no difference. If you want to lose weight, you be in a calorie deficit, progressive overload, build strength. The way that you lift the technique is probably going to vary more on your limb length than it is your gender, which of course your gender can also help dictate your limb length. But of course, every body is different. So it's just interesting to see how that plays out in the context of weightlifting. The support that they have for each other is crazy. They just scream and scream whenever they are trying to do reps. So, team spirit, baby. I think it's pretty funny how people that don't really know weightlifting or aren't very aware of weightlifting when they see someone do like a snatch, they're like, oh my God, if I were to do that, my shoulder would break. Well, if you actually train for it, you can do it fine. But it's just, inter it's interesting to me how the snatch is performed and to just downplay it like, oh, this is something that I can't do and that person is like special or magical because they can do that snatch. Look, any I mean, maybe not everybody can perform a snatch like them but most people can do a snatch especially if you're not really injured and if you are injured and you're dealing with pain you probably have a lot of limitations anyway so you should be dealing with those face on <laughs> You can tell something's off with this athlete. You can see the way in her face, the way that she puts her hand behind her back and kind of grabs it, kind of signals that she's maybe not feeling it. You see her kind of like shaking her head. Um, you see her, you know, knees caving in a lot when doing the squat. So something's definitely going on with her. Uh, I hope she's all right. So that right there is a 
interesting movement to help practice having more load in the front rack position. Probably a very important skill to have. You know, uh, it's very easy to look at that and think it might be a bullshit exercise. But what that really is, is most people's squat form. But instead, they're doing it to improve their front rack position. So that's amazing. So I see a lot of people kind of downplaying the form a little bit, but obviously they're doing something right. Most of them stay quite injury free. Obviously with all the heavy lifting, you can be prone to injury. And if you are injured, you more than likely can't lift that heavy. So they're building a lot of strength. They're quite athletic. I mean, look how beautiful it is. Even with that weight being so heavy, he can pull it underneath him rather than trying to pull the bar up like what most people do. You have to catch it by getting underneath. And that's what he's doing with this extremely heavy load. And you can see that there's probably some form breakdowns, but when you're on that type of like one to two to three rep max and you're at an RPE 9, 10, it's incredibly hard to have perfect form. Oh! 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 Got it. Got it. Can we just appreciate the timing of those lifts for a moment? Yo, yes. Chins on, chins on. Ah. So right there you're seeing some fire cupping, which I think is funny how the guy is doing it on the one guy and then he's also doing it on himself. That's to help increase blood circulation after training in order to promote better recovery. It's probably not something that is a major, you know, focus for most people, but for this team, they are literally training as a career and they need to do everything that they can in order to recover. Okay, that's just something that you would tell your six-year-old niece to do when your back is hurting and feeling tight. Does that actually help? Probably. I mean, they're doing it, right? You got to think that it probably helps if they're doing it. Otherwise, they wouldn't be doing it. So I'm sure in some way it probably helps. Probably feels good. You know, it probably feels good to get little cracks going, loosen up some muscles a bit. And I think that's an overall pretty dope session. So I think we can all kind of look at this weight training session from the Chinese weightlifters and think that one, there is a incredible amount of intensity going on there. Uh, number two, they have a great amount of technical skill and they are very disciplined in their craft. And number three, they obviously care a lot about where they wanna go. And I think we can all learn a little something from that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little voiceover. If you guys did, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. I might do this more, but please comment. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks.